Hit on Mel again. Kicking the ball to me, nigga. I always do the kicking, nigga. I want the ball after halftime, nigga. And right now, you're looking kind of unfamiliar. <laughs> The rookie, Mike Harley. What? I told him, man, he ain't got a lot of, he ain't got a lot of me a man either. He be lying to us. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, what? I don't know how that happened, you know, but all right. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Yeah, it's probably it's my, um, my baby says because I was fucking with Al. Because I was making fun of him. That's yeah, yeah making fun of him. Perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away in the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for Yeah, boy, you see me, boy? You see me, boy? You see me, boy? Yeah, you see me, boy? Hey. Hey, yeah, you, yeah, you saw it. They're setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Hey, hey, that's my that's my new that's my off season acquisition too. Hey, I knew he was gonna try me like that too. I was like, but Melvin, I said Melvin tried to. I said, what kid let? <laughs> The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. But yeah, Mel, man. What well, um? What outlet? That was still on the mic. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a. You never know it. You never know that Allen fella. That's Liv. Yeah, <laughs> but he thought that's all over there singing. That's the lady said. He thought the hell he over there singing a little hill for. He ready to get his ass whooped. <laughs> oh man, but nah, man. We, we was running two. We was running two K yesterday, Mel, bro. Bro, we needed you, bro. I'm like, now, man. Nah, nigga. Come on, Mel. <laughs> hey, I ain't, you know I ain't. You know I ain't them niggas. I'm gonna throw that bitch away. You gotta understand, Al is bit, like Al weird. It sails incomplete. Now a dump off here complete. Oh, you bitch, you male. run good for twenty four yards. Ah, Lord. Hey, <laughs> man, I tried to hear that thing go. <laughs> Running back ain't want no parts of it. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, Lord. Oh, come on, bro. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. There Come on. Right and I think me and you probably the only person that could probably jump that. Because everybody else, that's, that, that's, that's food. That's
Man, it's all good though. Now nah, it's my bad though. I, like, cause he beat him off the line. I should have just. I should have. I should have. I should have let him. I just threw it to him. That's my bad. Yeah, like you said, like exactly. But yeah, man. So um. Trying to see. That was my bad, Justin. I see what you about to do, Mel. I know. <laughs> hey, the cornerback let me go, so I was like, all right, bet. Yeah, I got Maul next, boy. Spencer Rattler going. Spencer Rattler going to see. I guess we're going to see just how good Spencer Rattler is. Takes this about five yards deep and tackled at the twenty. So, so who y'all your use against this year, man? Because you say you got what twelve? <gasps> so you got Zeno too? Bad boy was wild yesterday, bro. My girl even got mad, bro. Yeah, man. Like, she was even mad about that shit. Bro. I was like, Zeno, you wildin', bro. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Thanks, baby. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the Hitman versus uh, TJ gonna be a good one. Well, at least I hope it is. I hope, I hope Hitman ready for that bullshit that's about to come, boy. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. We on, we on, uh, Matt right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, he come. Hey, he come that bullshit again. Hey, Mel, what was that, um, what's that deep in, like, on the dime? What is it? Is it dime rush or dime sugar weed? Because I've been trying to find that shit again since I've been, um, I've been practicing this shit. A two, three, six. The one with the four down lineman with the dime. The one that you had told me about to help me, you know, the one that helped me against, the uh, the, um, Bucks. Oh, three, three, okay, three, three, five wide. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Yeah, you got Zeno on your schedule too, Al. Throwing 
Jones looking for Campbell downfield. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence. Hey, I, I, I feel like I don't really got to ask y'all boys this, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. Y'all boys for the wedding. Y'all, y'all, um, pull up. Y'all, y'all gonna be in person and not over, uh, and not on Zoom, right? All right, bet. This, nah. December, uh, is December 11th. December 11th, um, 2021. Wow. Set him back five. So on fourth down, here's the Australian. Nah, this ain't no dome. It's open air, bro. Because remember, um, during my game, it was snowing last year. But um, but yeah, I'm just asking because yeah, we trying to get we trying to we get these uh lists together now. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12 yard line. No return, but it goes down as okay. Alright, so yeah, we just gotta we just gotta make sure that we get we account for these numbers. I don't know, but I'm gonna do that shit again. That shit was wild. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 10 more there and another first down. That's another Brooklyn first down. First and goal, and they'll run with Cook. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. But yeah, man. So, so Al and Mel said uh, in person. I said, I'm going to check them off when I get to my laptop, but they said in person. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Oh. Hey, um, Al, Liv says your girlfriend coming? He confidently said yes, but we'll see by that time. <laughs> yes, that's how he said it, but yes. Hey, Liv said don't let her be on no bullshit, Al. That boy Mel said, don't let her come at me sideways. Don't hurt her feelings and hey, yours. That nigga Al told me I'm going to pay him off top. <laughs> hey, nigga, if y'all fight, nigga, take that shit out in the parking lot, nigga. Oh, you talking me and you? <laughs> I went to him and Mel go fight. <laughs> man, why that man won't smoke with you, Mel? Mel. My boy is funny, man. Here's second and seven now from the 28. At the 28-yard line. Oh, I spun right away from that nigga. Oh, fuck you, Mel. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert, 72 yards. And the 49ers move back within a couple of the leads. 
And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards. That's all good. I need to adjust, though. You ain't gonna get another long run like that. Fuck that. Yeah, you gonna nickel it down that shit, but you don't get no other long run like that. Hey, but you know what made your defense, I mean, your offense scary as hell in the other man? You had the running game, and then on top of the running game, you had DJ Chark on the outside. <laughs> like that man, like this man, uh... Like your brother, but I was like, bro, I said, damn, man. There have been points on the board. We just saw back to back touchdown drives. I'm high fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. Bro, hey, I'm saying, wait, bro. He sees it. I could he wants a good old fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up and down the field game here. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> that boy backed him up. Back to throw now on first down. Going deep. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside. <laughs> <the> <laughs> hey, boy, I saw it in the scene. Boy, I said, Wolf and Herb hit this. Yeah, it's nuts. Well, that really tests to see how good you are, boy. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So, a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. Well, it's been an exciting sequence to watch. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big. And Danny Dimes. Catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first and 10, it's most And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's 11 more on that one and another. You about the only first person I know to do this shit. Some big time runs here in this first half. Just commit the committed, the committed, um, how committed you are to the run. But when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises. And he's running with terrific ability. Right I'm balanced, so. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11. And on second down, Mostert. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 27 yards there, a first down. We often poke a little fun at running backs past the age of 30. Bruh, don't, know why, don't go to the trade block. If you want somebody, go get them. But the way that them boys have been trading is ridiculous. You certainly can, and I think that we're starting to expand our definition of old running back. Because it used to be as soon as they hit 30, we want to get rid of these guys and go to the younger guys. But now that the guys are taking such great care of themselves, as you pointed out, you can still get explosive runs at any age. And the 49er. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, this is Mostert. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum. So oh, yeah, he got a tank on, right? Down right after. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Second and eight. Now 
Jones. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Chase Young gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. But that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. On third down, here comes Moster. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. And it's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. They have quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run, but how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you really <laughs> made, or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. <laughs> I don't blame you. The way my offense is going quick. And they're not going to get the kick off in time. So that'll back them up five. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. That's from 25 yards out. Oh! And it bangs off the right. Hey, well, Mel, but hey, boy, listen. So that's why you almost never see at this level a wobbler from very short range and a right side. Hey, well, your, your kicker got to go, boy. Or someone got a hand on it, then I can understand it, but it's almost like you heard a whistle or something to stop this swing. A very strange result, especially for an NFL kicker. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime. What you got for him? Coach. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of... So you got rid of him for another defensive lineman? Another high price defensive lineman? Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Okay. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Their own 18-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Bro. Eric Armstead, Eric Armstead ain't gonna say, ain't gonna say, ain't gonna scare nobody though, bro. Once again, it's Mostert, and he is yes, sir. out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the thirty. A big play there for the Niners. Forty-three yards on the ground. Man, this shit crazy. So now then, the but I see why I need to why, why I need to work on the defensive line, man. Looking to throw, Jones, and his throw is going to be incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. About to say, man, you might you might have been better off with that thing. Completion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of the playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Stay on the ground with Moster. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to lead. Hey, man, I hope they do, bro. They've been fucking with me all game. The exception of that, of that, first, of that second pick. Hey, but then again, that win, because like when we usually be thinking like it's an easy kick, bro, that win be killing us too. I be having to remind, remind myself of that win sometimes. Damn. You see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Good start. Oh man, hey, you missed it yesterday, boy. That was Zeno a while. At their own 42. 
Oh. Because you know how. Oh, that was a good tackle. But you know how every after every season, I'm a, we're doing the preseason. We send the preseason, y'all boys. Zeno calls me and is like, "Hey, bro, why do why do y'all why y'all niggas send me the preseason, bro?" I'm like, "What are you talking about, bro?" He told me, "Man, I was in the middle of some shit. Y'all niggas send me the preseason. See, this is the cheap shit I be talking about, but like, bro, stop it." From the gun, it's again the call. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the. What up, P? It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that huh? he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was so a little Zeno. bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Fifteen yards on the play, first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. I took, took a page out your book that time. We ain't no juking. <laughs> well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Attempt carry in the game for Cook. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Delvin Cook with now three week one touchdowns. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Makes the score. Beats 28. 49 Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. set to get this drive underway and tough to win games if you're going field goal field goal field goal here they got field goal last time now they'll be looking for a touchdown they're looking for the big chunk now because as you noted the field goal field goal field goal the way of doing it makes it that much harder puts more pressure on every possession for you now go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in bigger chunks we'll see if they can get the score and all the way inside the good shit man before he goes out of bounds so the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten what? just outside the 30. They hand it off to Mostert. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by, tackle made by Devondre Campbell. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Oh, on, bro, your phone work, nigga. And a short game down to about the 33. The secondary play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run out of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't handle it. Hey, man, you ain't gonna never throw? <laughs> man, you ain't never gonna throw? <laughs> Y'all boys, hell, man. My nigga, though. Here's Jones on third down. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Hey, well, I took the leap of faith on that one, boy. From Young Way it'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Hello? 
Yeah. Stop playing this year. Yeah. You know what doing. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, possession switches hands. <laughs> I got more next week. Yeah, we're trying to kill with them for a bit. Yeah, you will. You ain't getting no chips, guys, man. They're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And all the way down to the 27. And what a big time play there. 44 yards. We know play calls can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't back, need to man. design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes Can't you let the nigga go? Yeah. In a sense, less that boy, wow, that boy be trading niggas. Let me say, I got to find a way to get them back. What you trading them for then? I have faith in the new song. I'll get him back. things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. They have to use timeouts. What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking the Jones dog in there, right? It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line. How many use the games you got, Rich? And, and I know it sounds crazy. Oh, uh, let me go look. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. I got a good amount, man. I play on. I had to play, I play Z. Play hit, man. Oh, you, play, you beat Z? Yeah. Let's find a score. Um, 35-16. Oh, damn, boy. Maybe Reg has gotten better at man. <laughs> um, he wasn't supposed to get that. Hey, okay, dead. Dog has 16 rushing yards. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Dance into his left. <laughs> yes, he has 16 rushing yards. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A 15 yard touchdown run. And his guys find a way to stretch that mm -hmm. lead. I think all teams. That's why I stayed close to the, to the sideline, Mel, just in case he did fumble. Oh, good. We're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. Uh, there carries a little oh, no. pressure with that as well because you and I both know. Protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Had two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. I guess I won't be able to see how good the Stingley pickup is until next week. <laughs> Damn, man. I want to see how my, to see how my young boy look, man. Stop. Bush it up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage. And frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now he dumps this off over the middle. He got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a handoff here to his Got him. 
Got him. That nigga true. Got him. Huh? Getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it till him go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Got an open man, that's Campbell. Mm. Oh, well, Stingley, you got not that down. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. A handoff running left is Moster. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. I don't like that, that goddamn goal line package you be putting on. Boy, I be like, Lord have mercy, boy. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's Mostert, toss left side. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Yeah, we eliminated him now after a loss of two. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the results. Man, what the hell are you doing, Fire Wide? <laughs> <laughs> All right, probably ain't never seen Mel do this shit. We're going to see how good these tackles is, though. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive. Hey, is what Zeno said? If, as long as these people 90 something overall, I ain't going to get to them like that. And defensively, that might just seal a week one victory. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this will be caught. Yeah, well, you left that boy on the island, boy. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone, and you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Oh shit. Mel got a wildcat, too? The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. No gain on the play there. Second down. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Oh my gosh. Good job hanging on to that because I just knew Tyson was going to knock that bitch out. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Completes it to the tight end kill. Well, I thought, hey, if you had to receive it again. Reaching the 10 yard line. Good game, Mel. 
Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And you know, all eyes were watching this one. Everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before Shit, we I ain't have. Right, they didn't give all. Uh, Fabian Monroe wouldn't grab him. He was nice out there. Yeah, oh, you hit up Fabian Monroe? Let's get an upgrade. Yeah, I wouldn't grab him. Yeah, man. I, I had, had traded, traded um. Traded back, um, Stokes. Oh, okay. You started you started hitting uh, your people up bit? Oh uh, they they still in uh, they still in church. I got six, I think, this year. Something like uh, eight, man, something right now. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team. I got... One, two, three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. I got eight of them. I got Buddy Love, week 14. I got Zeno, week 16. I got Ant, week 2 and 11. And Al, week 9. And week 9 and 13. And Maul, week 2. 